Hey everyone, my name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a custom drop down navigation menu for your Shopify header with some animations and how to get this set up on the dashboard side of Shopify. Let's get into it. Now I'm working out of the DOM theme and the first thing I'm going to do is come into my theme editor and I'm going to create a new section and I'm going to call it custom header dot liquid. And this is where we're going to put our HTML uh, and liquid. And then I'm also going to create an asset that's going to hold our CSS because there's quite a bit uh, in this one. And I'm going to make it a CSS.liquid extension with the name custom nav.css.liquid. Now what we need to do is we need to include these files into our um, configuration so we actually see them displayed on the screen. So to do that, I'm going to go into the header group JSON. Now this file is the schema or the sorry the JSON configuration for our header information and if you want to see uh, where it is it's in theme.liquid and it's referenced right here so you could just remove this and reference our header directly but uh, I'm going to come in and I'm actually just going to get rid of this and I'm going to paste in uh, this new file with a couple just a couple lines in it and it just has our header stuff and custom header, which you'll notice is the name of our file here. And this is the only file we're displaying. All right. Now, with all that configuration out of the way, let's go ahead uh, first, actually go to our theme.liquid. And we're going to add a couple scripts here. So what I'm going to do is just paste these in. And these, all this code is going to be available in the GitHub link in the description of this video. And just right below here, I'm going to paste all of these in. So what are these scripts? Well, uh, some of them are for the font family I'm going to use called Inter from Google Fonts. And then the other one is for the Google um, icons so that we can load those in here as well. And then uh, lastly, we have this custom CSS file being referenced. This is the file we just created here. All right. Now, without further ado, let's go into the Shopify dashboard and create our uh, navigation menu. Now, if I come to the navigation section of our online store, I can come into main menu and you'll see that I have created this custom uh, menu and you can actually nest these menu items underneath by just simply dragging them up into uh, the left and you'll see that I can uh, order these however I want. And so in this particular case, I want to achieve a drop down menu where you hover over one of the main menu items and then it'll drop down and show these nested links here below. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how this looks in the liquid file as well. So now that this is all set up, uh, you can hit save and then we can start editing some code. Now if I come into our custom header.liquid, I just want to make sure that this is working. So if I just do hello world and preview this store, it looks atrocious, but we can see that it is showing up here, which is good enough for now. So I'm going to go in and start adding some HTML here. The first thing I'm going to do is create this header container. And I'm going to call it header with an ID VL custom header. All right. And now I'm just going to go through and knock out some HTML and we can talk about it when it is done. Okay, so this here, we have the logo, and then here, this UL, it's every LI of this is going to be the uh, nav item going horizontal. And then within this, we're going to have a subnested loop where we can then list out the uh, drop downs. So this will make a little bit more sense here in just one second. So first, I'm going to create this for loop.
Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we have this each li is going to be one link in our main menu links. So that means that if I navigate here, this would be a link item, and then this would be the nested link item. So first we're going to loop through the parent level. So all of these, which would be catalog, shop, and about us. And then within each one, we're going to loop through the nested ones. So in this case, under catalog, we're going to nest through all products, all collections. And then through shop, we will go through home, exclusive details, and locations. Uh, so we're just displaying the link URL and the link title. This materials outline, this is um, from that Google icon script that we importing. And through that, we were able to get icons. And uh, this drop down menu list here, this is just going to be a little horizontal bar to show uh, a difference between the drop down items. So if I save this and uh, preview, it should still look really ugly because we haven't done any um, styles or anything. So we can see our Nick shop here. And uh, I don't see our titles yet, but perhaps after we add our styles, that will fix it. Oh, and first, actually, I need to add uh, the shopping cart icon. Now it looks like I made a couple of typos real quick I want to go back and fix. You can see I have a little syntax error right here. That's because this should be plural link lists. This is the liquid syntax to access the main menu here. And then also I spelled material wrong down here. So if I change this to material like that, hopefully that will work if we save. And we should see some ugly content here now. So our HTML is showing up correctly so far. Uh, let's add some styles here. Now, because there's so many uh, styles we have to add, I'm just going to paste them in and talk about them briefly. Uh, and then we're also going to come back here and make it mobile responsive as well. So you can get this code again in the link to my GitHub uh, profile below. But you'll see that we have some uh, settings wide one. We just want to include this on all of the elements on this page. This right here is for our Google icons. And then um, down here is where we start getting some more custom things going on. So uh, we have this transform that's happening on the shopping cart, which is going to help us uh, give this um, cool animation where it looks like it's wiggling. We also have some pretty standard stuff here. But the stuff I'm going to point out is going to be this animations. So we have keyframes right here, one for rotating back and forth and one for fading in. And this is just going to make our items uh, fade in and then um, that rotation that I was talking about as well. So if I save this and refresh, we can now see that, wow, that looks a lot better. <laughs> so if we do this, uh, it's not mobile responsive. We can see that. But it does look pretty good. And we can see that it is fully operational in terms of the drop down and uh, also our little animation there. So now let's go in and make this mobile responsive. So underneath our HTML, uh, under this nav, I have this mobile stuff tag. This is where we're going to add the HTML that's going to show up on a media query on screen sizes below uh, our specification. So I am going to create mobile nav.
save and refresh, it's nothing's going to change because we haven't actually made our media queries yet in our CSS to make this show up. So if I do this, still looks the same, but let's go in and add some media queries into our CSS file. And I'm just going to copy and paste these because, uh, again, it's a lot of code and I think that it would be too cumbersome. So if I come into this CSS file, I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to paste these in. So we're going to have uh, one at 400 pixels and one at 680 pixels. Now if I save this and refresh, now we see that we have this breakpoint where our hamburger menu shows up. And if I click it, nothing happens. And that is because we haven't added our line of JavaScript yet where we will uh, show or hide the nav menu uh, on mobile. So if we come back into our liquid file, right above the schema here, I'm just going to add a script. And I'm going to put in just this small little query. Now if I save this and refresh, we can see after clicking, it will toggle this uh, class which shows or hides our content here. Um, and this is done with this little guy right here, container. So we have this query selector and on click, we're listening, we're just gonna toggle this hide class which basically has display none or display uh, block or flex. So it will toggle that. But if we look real quick, you'll see that our content is not showing as we would expect it here. So I'm gonna take a quick look into why that is. Okay, so after a quick investigation, it looks like I made a typo here in our mobile liquid. This, uh, let's see, link.list, this should be link.links, like that. And now if we go back to our theme preview and refresh, you'll see that we have a mobile responsive nav bar with some custom animations with the turning of this chevron uh, right icon and a rotating playful shopping cart as well as a slow gradient uh, of our logo over here. So this has been creating a custom drop down nav for your Shopify header. If you have any questions, let me know. Also check the links in the description for more info, source code, and my website. And uh, take care.